We're here in my home area, northwest Montana. Yeah, I couldn't really think of a better spot to grow up. Ozzy came here last season. We were just pretty full on focused on film and urban stuff. I was stoked to get to take him up to the hill and show him a little bit of what it's like up there. It's rare that the sun shines, but when it does, like, look at this epic backdrop we have here in the Glacier National Park. So yeah, I mean, I love this place. Still my favorite mountain, I'd say. They just have open uh, boundary policy here, so we probably walked like 10 minutes to get here. Probably have about 20 minute walk on the way out, but super awesome run before that. Whitefish is an amazing resort. It didn't matter where you went, you knew it was going to be really fun. Well, yeah, I guess Ozzy sort of coined it Montana Rail Gardens. It's just this new little walking trail area. That'll be kind of the local urban jib playground as long as people don't start getting kicked out of there, but hopefully that doesn't happen. My mom's always been super supportive of snowboarding. She gets so hyped when my friends come to town and she just takes them all in and wants to hook them up with food and whatever else she can. And like, she just loves that stuff, so. She packed the same lunch for all of us. Sando, egg, apple. Sam Robinson, man. Wow. There's this really cool little family-owned lumber mill here called RBM. We just went went right in the front door and he's like, how can I help you guys today? We're like, well, we're not here to buy wood. We have some gentlemen here that are ready to tear up your log yard. Okay, I'll meet them out there as soon as I get done. Wrapping around with this 34 foot log, we'll out there. Roy here at uh, RBM Lumber, which you just found out stands for Roy, Ben, and Mom. Ben's his brother. Started this company when he was in high school. Traded 10 quarts of wood for a chainsaw. I felt really awkward trying to explain to him what we wanted to do. But he was like, oh yeah, okay. So you want to snowboard my log piles? It's not even just like letting us do it. He set up the features with his front end loader and made these features happen that would have taken us a couple days of shoveling. A lot of people think we're pro snowboarders, but we're professional shovelers. So to have a true professional shoveler is the best. It's pretty unreal, you don't really get that acceptance normally. But you just embraced us with open arms. <laughs>
on your head? Oh yeah. Got the high five though, right? You got the high five. That was good. We're leaving RBM Lumber now. The folks here have been very nice to us. It's been a great experience. It's, it doesn't happen that often, that's for sure. You guys getting going or do you want to come over for a quick beer? After the whole session at RBM and Roy was just like, man, I was so stoked you guys did this. This was so much fun. And the feeling was totally mutual. Kind of laughed about all the fun we had that day over a couple beers. And yeah, it was a pretty cool experience.